the shower. You know what I'm talking about. Where dirty folks get clean, and clean folks get even cleaner and develop rashes and dry chapped skin. And turn mighty uncontaminated bars of soap into thin little things you can slide between your toes without even touching the sides. And just one shower too. I used to take really long showers. You couldn't measure them in minutes. You couldn't do it. I call them shorthand showers, cause you can't measure them with the long one. But I don't really do that anymore. It took many months of chipping away to get my shower time down. Months of feeling icky, you know, just having that feeling that germs are, are cohabitating on my flesh, having sex with one another, or forget germs, just that feeling that the soap didn't wash away because you weren't in the shower long enough to wash anything away. It's still there. It took a lot of trial and error, but I eventually found what worked for me. It was a combination of finding a sweet spot in terms of per shower time and per shower effort, and settling on a method of showering that really sped things up. The method of showering that I use is called the Navy Shower. Though, to be clear, using this method, you can still take a shower that is a gazillion hours long. <sighs> Navy showers ensure that I don't get too comfortable once the warm water begins its all-encompassing amniotic caress. I'm not in there for that. I'm in there to get clean as quickly as possible. Eventually, I can be in there for that, and only that, should I so desire, but not right now. Right now is all about improving that shower time. Now that my preferred method is out of the way, let's talk about the aforementioned sweet spot. This sweet spot is a shower time that, while not being as short as it could possibly be, still gives me a great balance between comfort, stamina, conservation, both mental and physical, and of course, time. Managing stamina is of particular importance in determining this sweet spot. When you take really long showers, one hour, two hours in the wet box, it's exhausting. But when you take really short showers, they can be exhausting in their own way. You eventually reach a point of diminishing returns. The effort you're putting in isn't worth the result that you're getting in return, which is, in this case, that extra time you're saving. Now, perhaps you're thinking to yourself, I'm already at that point and I haven't done a darn thing, biggin'. But no, you're going to have to get that shower time down to a fraction of what it was before, before you can reach this hollowed point. Until then, the point of diminishing returns is sacred. Don't desecrate it. The overall goal here is to make each shower less important, less of a prominent feature of your life. If your average shower lasts an hour and a half, there isn't much that you can do after that that will feel as monumental, as important as that shower. Anything and everything that follows it will feel like a bit of a letdown. Are you planning on heading to a friend's birthday party? Got a hot date? Well, after a two-hour shower, you may as well be attending a B-Day party where someone is actually pissed on your freaking cupcakes. Because figuratively, someone is already pissed on yours. We have to turn the small things in our lives into small things. Make the trivial trivial. That's the goal. Your daily life consists of seven hours, give or take, of sleeping, an hour or more of eating, who knows how much time on the toilet, hours and hours of working, and an hour-long shower? And this equals bliss? No! These are not the components for bliss. This gives us the components for feeling rushed and possibly miserable. The day is gone before we know it. Look at what your life consists of and see the result. These are known quantities you're putting in, so you know what's coming out. It's just basic stoichiometry, people. For years, my showers were an hour or more in length, sometimes as high as two hours. They were emotionally, psychologically, physically, physically exhausting. And for what? For a clean that wouldn't last? Spending so long in there meant that my showers meant more, far more than they should have. And everything that followed was, comparatively, unimportant. You may be saying to yourself, I can't do it. It's too much. It would be pure punishment to do this. To that I say, don't make it pure punishment. Don't make it pure work. There's too much work involved for it to be all work and nothing else. To have no light at the end of that tunnel. You're going to be a work mule throughout this process, just getting done. And there's going to be a long, appropriately moist carrot, moisture level made to suit your taste, dangling right in front of your carrot sniffing snout. Do more than work. Make sure you find a way to eat that carrot. Another way of putting it, treat yourself the way that you would treat a dog. Reward yourself for being a good human. You did it. You are going to do it.